Hello everybody. Welcome to my course. Learn 200 words starting from the letter A to Z. Overview. This course is meant for students planning to appear for the TOEFL, GRE, SAT, IELTS exams or anyone who wishes to improve their vocabulary in the next three months. Lesson plan. The entire course will deal with words from the letter A to Z. Each of these lessons will cover 20 words. So, from lesson 1 to 10 in the letter N, you will build 200 words to your vocabulary. By the time you reach the letter Z, your vocabulary will be richer by 5,200 words. About me, my name is Salma. I teach spoken English and business communications. I love to travel, read books and grow my own food. You could write to me with your suggestions, feedback and comments to the link provided below. I would love to hear from you all. Why learn vocabulary? When we know several words, we can describe an event or emotion. By sharing our ideas and opinions, you can understand what other people are saying and what you are reading. Vocabulary is the foundation for understanding the world around us. How to memorize words quickly? Memorizing words quickly is often a daunting task, a difficult task. Fortunately, fortunately, there are a number of methods that make the task simple and fun. Ultimately, you need to remember that knowing vocabulary will help you meet your goal and enrich your intellect in the process. Three simple steps. Read, define, use in a sentence. When I say read, Focus on the spelling and pronunciation. Define meaning and usage becomes important. And then lastly, use it in a sentence. For every word that I teach, I have given an example of a sentence. But by now, I'm sure you'll be able to construct sentences beautifully. Words starting with the letter N, 41 to 60. Lesson 3, letter N. First word, Neolithic, adjective. Relating to or denoting the latter part of the Stone Age. The period of human culture that began around 10,000 years ago, it is characterized by the beginning of farming, the domestication of animals, the development of crafts such as pottery and weaving, and the making of polished stone tools. This is called the Neolithic Age. Neology noun, the use of a new word or expression. Sometimes, neology is seen as relating to the development of new isms, since a new word can mean a new idea. Neophyte noun, a person who is new to a subject or activity. In a sentence, four-day cooking classes are offered to neophytes and experts. Nestle verb, to rest yourself or part of your body in a warm, comfortable and protected position. In a sentence, the baby nestled in her arms. Nettle verb. Any of numerous plants having stinging hairs that cause skin irritation or contact or to irritate. In a sentence, I was only asking. Jess said nettle. Network. Noun. A group or system of interconnected people or things. In a sentence, the company has a network of 326 branches. Negligence noun. Failure to take proper care over something. In a sentence, his injury was due to the negligence of his employers. Urology noun. The branch of medicine or biology that deals with the anatomy, functions and organic disorders of nerves and the nervous system. In a sentence, Neurology deals with the diagnosis and treatment of all categories of conditions and disease involving the central and peripheral nervous system. Neuter verb make ineffective. In a sentence, disarmament negotiations that will neuter their military power. Neutral adjective not supporting or helping either side in a conflict. In a sentence, her tone was neutral devoid of sentiment. Nevertheless, adverb. Despite what has just been said or referred to. In a sentence, 
statements which although literally true are nevertheless misleading neighborhood noun the area of a town that surrounds someone's home or the people who live in this area in a sentence she lived in a wealthy neighborhood of boston nihilist noun total rejection of established laws and institutions in a sentence dogmatic atheists and nihilists could never defend the value of human life nil noun nothing especially as a score in certain games zero they beat us 3 nil nimble adjective quick and light in movement or action agile her mind was so nimble and she was so quick to learn knit noun the egg or young from a of a louse or from parasitic insect especially the egg of a human head louse attached to a hair a few of the children have knits nocturnal adjective active at night Let me repeat nocturnal you have probably heard of nocturnal animals like bats and fireflies who sleep during the day and come out to play when the sun goes down noiseless adjective silent or very quiet the cycle is a noiseless form of transport noisome adjective extremely offensive smell in a sentence noisome can refer to anything unpleasant or anything that makes you nauseous However, it is most often used to describe bad smells. Nomad noun: people that travel from place to place to find fresh pasture for its animals and has no permanent home. In a sentence, the withering of their grasslands forced the nomads of the Sahara to descend into the Nile Valley. This brings us to the end of this lesson. Let's enjoy the lighter side of the English language. an interesting bit of trivia about yes walking did you know chickens pigeons cranes quails and at least 8 of the 27 families of birds bob their head when they walk researchers suggest that they do this because head bobbing helps with balance provides depth perception and sharpens the vision well if you would like balance depth perception and a sharp vision i suggest you start popping your head well back to the joke section two boys were arguing when the teacher entered the room the teacher says why are you arguing one boy answers we found a 10 dollar bill and decided to give it to whoever tells the biggest lie you should be ashamed of yourself said the teacher when i was your age i didn't even know what a lie was the boys gave the Ten dollars to the teacher. Keep smiling, keep laughing. Thank you for watching. If you like this lesson, please share this with your friends. Do send me your suggestions, comments, and feedback. I would love to hear from you all. Bye for now.